Okay, so I just taught you guys how to buckle up and down. That's your natural inclination. And we've got to make it more sophisticated now. Because if you notice, it's a lot harder when you, when you look at someone your own size or someone bigger than you. So we're gonna, when you buckle up and down, you have to forward move, up and down one. So, uh, use, use your head, okay, and use your feet, whatever, and you buckle up and down, right? Up and down. What's another way you can do? Side to side. When you do side to side, what's that called? Shrimping, okay? Because as you buckle, you may be bigger and stronger, so you're, now your buckle's not very efficient. Right, you might, you might move your hip maybe up just that much. Against a smaller guy, boom, your hip goes up really much. So our next motion is we want to buckle just a little bit so that they have to split their knee to establish better base. Then you shrimp side to side and you push your, your elbows in to push this knee back so you can get guard. Okay, you get half guard and then full guard. All right. So you cannot just do one. In a street fight, as in like a jiu-jitsu match, with an all-out go. So you got to buckle to do what again? Destabilize them. Alright? Destabilize. Oh, destabilize one. Okay, so in, in judo, what's that concept called? Kusushi. Alright, I think I put Kusushi on. Okay, it means off-balance. Okay? So you have to off-balance them on a physical level. Alright? So if someone's on a skateboard, that's easy to off-balance than someone who's standing there. Okay? You can also off-balance them mentally. Alright? So in the Book of War, Sensu Book of War, okay, there's several ways. The Book of War, if you are a good general, or a good king, or a good military person, and you want to attack another country, you don't attack with physical force in the beginning. You attack through destabilization internally. Okay? So you, you, you send in spies, or you send in people to destabilize them through economic means. Okay? You destabilize them through political means or civil. Alright? And that is what terrorism is happening right now. They're destabilizing us. When you destabilize the country, you have a, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, where, where people are taking sides. Um, polarizing effect. Where people are arguing, too much gun, not enough gun. Are civil rights getting taken? No, there's not too much civil rights, etc. Right? You destabilize them. When you destabilize them, you see what their reaction is. Then you create a plan of attack. Everyone got that? People who are not familiar with war or warfare always do what? Attack first. On Facebook. Let's go bomb those guys. That's the first thing. <laughs> right? You hear it all the time. But this is what the true nature is. So now you have to figure out Am I getting destabilized? How are the terrorists how are the terrorists destabilizing us? How can they bring down a trillion dollar country with their ten million dollar effort? They must be doing something right. Are they attacking us straight on? No. In judo, you do kuzushi first. And then you go for the attack. Recognize that opportunity. In the Miyamoto Masashi, the book of five rings. He said, everything in life has strategy. Find the strategy first. Then create a way to win. Everyone got that? Okay. Do not get in the habit of coming straight on. Okay, now let's go back to that uh, competency rule. If some big guy's addressing me and trying to beat me up, if I don't have the skill to defend myself, I better back down and put my tail between my legs and run off. Right? And then I acquire the skill set. Maybe the verbal skill set, the physical skill set, or the diplomatic skill set. Everyone got that? The people who are ignorant will choose to fight right away. But they don't understand there's so much at risk. Everyone got that? Okay. It, it didn't came from me. It came from a lot of great generals in America. These guys went through war with McCarthy and stuff, and they make one of the best presidents because they realize there's so much. The people who never been to war, they're the first guy to send a other people's son to the army to, to fight. Everyone got that? Okay. So that's the approach we need to have for martial art also. So let's go back and let's work the strength thing.